mad on. Hell yeah, I'm quite mad on. <laughs> yeah, we're leaving a country that's happy to have us. We're allowed no to be COVID. here. Guys, we just tested positive to the COVID test. Told us again, we can definitely not come back. So Several times. You know once you leave, you cannot come back. It's very reassuring. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hope the boat starts when we get back to it. We're on our own now. Alright guys, we're checking out. <laughs> and like he said, we're checking out of Malaysia. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm putting that on. <laughs> um, we're checking out of Malaysia. We're going to immigration right now. There's no turning back then, guys. We're out of Malaysia. We won't, they won't be to let us back in. <laughs> and uh, we'll be heading towards Sumatra and then onto the Seychelles. <laughs> Are we making the right decision? Oh, all right. <laughs> no <laughs> COVID right here. here. We're in a little safety zone, but you know, we're, we're comfortable. We're comfortable here. And you know what? I think it's just that we're used to being here. I'm not comfortable Unfortunately, here. we don't want to be here. So we're moving on. Time for new places, better things. And just little ocean passages, like just two and a half thousand miles worth. <laughs> the biggest ocean we've ever crossed. <laughs> that's okay. It's all gonna be good. Let's go check out. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. We're ready. We're so ready to leave Malaysia. Ready, kids? You ready, guys? Yeah. You wanna stay? Not really. All right, we're at the door. Time. We're all a little bit nervous. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's the right These decision. These uncertain times and we're checking out of our little safety net here. Yeah, we're leaving a country that's happy to have us. We're allowed no to be COVID. here. We're we making the right decision. I don't know. I think so. Yeah, let's do it. So, uh, guys, we just tested positive to the COVID test. I wouldn't say test, but the temperature test. I didn't. And uh, Sarah just <laughs> snuck in under, generally anywhere you go, whether it's restaurant, store, immigration, whatever, you've got to register throughout all areas over here when you enter the door and they put the temperature gauge on your head. I was 37, Taj was 37, Bella was 37, and Mama was 36 point something. So they weren't anyway, they wouldn't, let us they wouldn't in. let the kids or Lee in, so I went in and did everything, and um, they got told to stay outside. But we've already had our temperature checked like five times today. Yeah. And so I took the gun off her and I looked at it, and then I pointed it at her head, and she was 37.2. <laughs> and then she didn't know what to do and she walked away. But yeah, I don't think they actually have anything in place for. They don't, but they have to take precaution, and yeah. these guys were showing up higher temperatures, so they had to stay outside. But. We have successfully checked out of one of the offices and now we're going to go to customs and then yep. immigration and then we are not allowed back in Malaysia after tomorrow. Scary. So, yeah. And that's what she just said. It made me really nervous actually. She said, you cannot come back once you leave. So. Okay guys, we are officially checked out of Malaysia. That's it. Just told us again, we can definitely not come back. So. Several times. You know once you leave, you cannot come back. It's very reassuring. So, I hope the boat starts when we get back to We're it. on our own now. We're out. Alright. Let's go. Here we go, Africa. Coming at you. So, really good news. It's Sunday. It's the day we were planning on leaving today. And our package was kind of... We weren't sure when it was going to arrive. But we got a phone call this morning saying that it's gone through customs and it should be getting delivered today so Lee's just gone on the ferry over to pick it up so we're going to leave we checked out yesterday we're gonna fuel the boat up and then we're on our way so I'm just getting a few things organized cooking some food so that we don't have to well I don't have to cook <laughs> while we're going but it's <laughs> pretty exciting overwhelming um we're ready we're finally leaving We've been waiting for this day, but you know, when it comes, it's like, ah, I've done everything. But I think we're ready. All right, guys, so we've been waiting. We've actually checked out of Malaysia and we've just been waiting for this. It's a starter motor, spare starter motor and a couple little bits and pieces. Um, we've got it from uh, the UK. It only took a couple of days to get to KL, but it's been a long wait. 
KL to Langawi. And we didn't really want to leave without our spares because um, we've been stuck there without a spare starter motor before and um, very challenging. So we thought it'd probably be easier to uh, get one and um, not have that problem. A few spare oil filters, um, a couple of bits and pieces. And that goes on that way, it's the right orientation, and there we have it, spare starter motor. We're ready to roll, let's go. Mm -hmm. with all this corona stuff going on but um it's time to uh set sail we just gotta go get some fuel fill up we filled up our tanks we've just got to fill up all the jerry cans on the deck and uh wait for the weather window has changed a little bit i think we're leaving tomorrow instead because of top of sumatra the window looks better for later in the week so we'll see we don't want to run into um 30 knots on the nose nah. I don't like uh, going to wind. I like going with it. Right here, we've checked out of Malaysia and we're ready to roll. If you're everything that matters to me, makes me wonder why I can't get over. I'm just coming in to get some fuel. We have 280 litres of diesel in these jerry cans on our deck and we have 400 litres of fuel in our bladders. So all up we have 680 litres of diesel. We want it to be full as we know we'll be motoring most of the way to Sumatra. We are pulling Asia. We're leaving Malaysia. Won't be long. We on our way. Come on. Uh... 
we were sailing across, there's not a lot of wind today. We're going to be doing a lot of motoring and the only re reason is uh, we just don't know what our rig feeling is going to be like in Indonesia with all the COVID and not being able to get ashore and unhappy locals, happy locals, we're not sure what to expect. Um, ideally if we could sail we didn't have to use our fuel, we wouldn't have to worry about fueling up in Indonesia. But I think that's going to be highly unlikely. There's not a lot of wind for the next couple of days. There we go. Look at that, hey? Chicken wrap. So what are they doing out there, Captain? Uh, maybe a half another breeze. A few clouds, not much else. Beautiful clear water. No wind, but we're motoring along at five knots. That's what it's been like for the last 24 hours, folks. Please like, subscribe, love you guys. Join us next time as our calm seas and no wind turn a little bit gnarly.